Former chairpersons and commissioners of the National Youth Commission, or NYC, band together to urge the Commission on Elections, or COMELEC, to junk Duterte Youth Chairman Ronald Cardema's substitution bid. The letter was signed by former chairpersons Ay Siguera, Giu Tingson, and Leon Flores III, and former commissioners Dingdong Dantes, Percy Sendana, J.P. Peñol, and Erwin Andaya. The letter reads, quote, we call for the outright dismissal of the applications of Duterte Youth Chairman Ronald Cardema and four others submitted as substitute nominees for Duterte Youth Party List. The former NYC officials present three grounds for the dismissal. Cardema and all the other nominees fall outside the age prescribed by the law. Irregularities and glaring procedural anomalies in the application for accreditation, notices of withdrawal, and the applications for substitution. Cardema used government resources to campaign for the party list group as former NYC chair. More than 10 petitions from election lawyers, watchdogs, and youth groups were filed before the poll body opposing Cardema's substitution bid. In a Comelec First Division hearing on Ronald Cardema's case Tuesday, June 11, Comelec Commissioner Ruane Guanzon says the party list's accreditation may be canceled if it fails to publish its new set of nominees five days after it received the poll body's resolution. President Rodrigo Duterte orders the Department of Transportation, or DOTR, to immediately implement its plan to transfer some flights and operations from the Ninoy Aquino International Airport, or NEIA, to Sangli Airport in Cavite. This is after the president conducted a surprise inspection at NEIA early morning Monday, June 10, and promised to find a solution to flight cancellations and delays. During the 38th cabinet meeting on Monday night, Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugade discussed the plan to transfer general aviation or domestic flights to Sangli Point Air Base. Presidential spokesman Salvador Panelo says, quote, the president directed the operations in Sangli Point to start immediately. The Philippine Military Academy Alumni Association Incorporated, or PMAAAI, declares newsreader and commentator Erwin Tulfo persona non grata. The PMA AAI says it, quote, strongly condemns the boorish behavior and derogatory remarks of Tulfo against former Philippine Army Chief and now Social Welfare Secretary Rolando Bautista. This comes after Tulfo blasted Bautista, an alumnus of the PMA, for not granting him an interview. The resolution was signed Friday, June 7, and was released to media Monday, June 10. The family of Margarita Valiet says Tuesday, June 11, the Davao-based journalist was a clear target of state forces. The Valiet family issues this statement a day after the Philippine National Police, or PNP, Criminal Investigation and Detection Group, or CIDG, apologized to the Davao Today columnist for arresting her Sunday morning, June 9, at the Lagundingan Airport in Misamis Oriental. The police says it was a case of mistaken identity. Valle was served an arrest warrant for charges of multiple murder with quadruple frustrated murder, destruction of government property, and arson. The family says Valle's case is, quote, not one of mistaken identity at all. She was a clear state target. Our mother's ordeal in the hands of CADG was a clear example of the vicious pattern of state forces of attacks against journalists, dissenters, and human rights defenders. Valle was released Sunday after being detained for 12 hours at Camp Abelon in Pagadian City. The Golden State Warriors foils the Toronto Raptors bid to wrap up the NBA final series on Monday, June 10. With Stephen Curry and Clay Thompson leading, the Warriors won 106 105 versus the Raptors. Curry unleashed 31 points and Thompson added 26 as the defending champion Warriors pulled a 3 2 in the best of seven final series and forced Game 6 in Oakland on Thursday, June 13. Curry says, Goat, do or die. It wasn't pretty in the second half, but we just made the shots. The Warriors refused to fold even as Kevin Durant left the game in the second quarter due to an injury. 